Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. <laughs> it's that season. Giants, baby. What is the biggest holdback? What is the biggest enemy? What is the biggest factor in your finances? What is actually holding you back? Is it your parents? Is it your kids? Is it your job? Is it your loved ones? Is it your environment? Is it your mentor? Is it your doctor? Is it your dentist? Is it your therapist? Is it your, uh, who knows how many things I can name here? Is it your TV? Is it your couch? Is it your bed? What is really holding back your financial success? You, you are holding back your financial success. You. Nobody else. You. Oh, well, they discriminated against me. Oh, I'm too short. Oh, I'm fat. Oh, I'm too skinny. I don't even know what that is, guys. I would like to say those are excuses and reasons, but I don't know what that is. That's poppycock. That's crazy talk, okay? that There is no reason that you can give yourself to tell yourself this is the reason why I'm not doing this. You are your biggest enemy. Yes, you are your biggest enemy. You get in front of yourself. You're not, you got to get out of the way of your own self in order to achieve financial success. Because we have routines. We have all these things that we normally do and we have to break the cycle. Now, some of you say, well, I got a few things going. I'm working on my weight or I'm trying to get more muscular, whatever it may be. Maybe a female is trying to get more tone, lose weight. Maybe a guy is trying to lose some weight, get more muscles, whatever the case may be. You go to the gym. You pay your gym membership. Now, the biggest gym, truthfully, that's free, is a playground. It's a playground. I'm not saying go out there with the kids while they're playing around, but there's times where there's no kids in a playground. They got pull-up bars, dip bars. You can use it however you want to use it. And I and I know some of you females, you just love the elliptical or you love the treadmill or you love the stepper. Find a hill. Find a mountain. Walk up it. There are so many things and so many you can do in order to save money. Cut out that gym membership. Cut it out. Then that's money you can save. You can do push-ups and sit-ups and squats. You can do all these things. Like yesterday, I'm in here in my room and I do 200 push-ups, I do 200 squats, and I did 200 ab workout, uh, you know, crunches or whatever. And I did them in sets of 25. I just kept rotating, but I, I really didn't stop. I probably took maybe a 15 uh, to 20 second break after I did maybe two or three sets to you know, get my heart rate up. I'm just trying to get your mind outside of your body because while it's in your body, your body is contaminating it. Then other people are contaminating it. Everything, your eyes are like the portal to your soul, right? Because whatever you see on TV and you experience at work or things you hear, whether it be walking down the street or whatever environment you're in, it's contaminating your mind. So sometimes you have to think outside of your mind. You ever heard that term? Think outside of your mind. So let's take the mind and elevate it outside of the body in order for it to run at full capacity. You're saying, this sounds crazy. How can I take my mind out? Meditation. I talked about this before. Meditation. I still do my five minutes a day of meditation. And if I'm tired, sometimes I fall asleep. Just keeping it real. But allow yourself five minutes Five minutes for you. You're not giving your time to the TV. You're not giving your time to music. You're not giving your time to your kids. You're not giving your time to your parents. You're not giving your time to working out. You're giving yourself time to actually think to the enemy within. You have to speak to the enemy. I mean, you could be spiritual or religious, however you want to speak to him, down Satan, however you want to be. I don't know. But you need to kill. You need to uh, 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 demolish. You need to destroy. You need to eliminate. You need to evaporate. You need to get all of those things that's affecting your mind out. Because those are the things that's telling you, well, girl, 
You really should get that purse because that's the new hotness. Oh, yeah, dog shit. Everybody rocking them jackets, man. I need to get a jacket like that. Or for some of you, oh, man, you know, I just, I just bought a car last year, um, but it's not running as efficiently as I want it to run. So I'm going to get the new Audi S7, not the A7. The A7, yes, I know, fully loaded. <laughs> it costs around 60000 but the S7 is a hundred and something thousand dollars. Expenses. The enemy inside you is telling you to look like everybody else, be like everybody else, fit in with everybody else, go do what everybody else is doing. And I talked about having your fun time, saving your money to do certain activities, but some of you are letting that contaminate and run into expenses and income that you shouldn't. Yeah, I always tell you, have fun with your money, but be smart. You need to really attack. You really need to destroy this enemy within. It is hurting you. It's holding you back. And it's affecting everything in your life. Not just you. Don't forget, you didn't come to this world by yourself and some of you have kids. So what does that mean? Everything that you don't do, it affects somebody else. Everything that you do, do, <laughs> affects somebody else. So I really want you to think outside of your mind or take your mind outside your body in order for it to run at full capacity. Because we are the most intelligent people, mammal, thing on this entire earth. But sometimes we don't allow ourselves to think. We don't give our self room or space to think. So I want you to tackle the enemy within. And once you do that, I promise you, things are going to look glorious in your bank account. Things are going to look superb in your purse. Things are going to look absolutely tremendous in your pockets. And guess what? When you have so much money, and I realize this, when you have so much money that you can buy everything, but you know you worked your ass off for it, you start buying everything. You only start buying the things that you need and the things that you saved up for to go get that. You, you get what I'm trying to say? When you start from nothing, and then you have something, you begin to cherish it. Now, there's some fools out there who work their ass off and got some nice stuff and still don't got nothing. I don't understand that, but I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about you, Ross World, because Ross World, you guys, <laughs> you guys impress me. I read your comments. You guys are impressive. So let me tell you this. Elevate your mind. Get it outside your body. Think outside the box. Don't look like everybody else. Don't feel like everybody else. Don't speak like everybody else. And when you stop doing that, you're going to be a different person. And when you look inside your bank accounts, you're going to feel like a different person because you didn't try to assimilate. You didn't try to blend in. You was you and you did what you had to do. Now, you will be absolutely happy because debt-free and your finances are flowing. So this is Ross World where we are now getting outside of our mind. Elevating our mind to a different plateau, to a different dimension. Because this dimension that we're in right now, we're trying to look like everybody else. We're trying to be like everybody else. We're trying to feel like everybody else. I'm out.